<laughs> we'll call this council meeting Monday, June 7th to order. Formalities were given at the work session. We'll move straight to roll call. Ms. Phillips, will you roll call? Mr. Dahl? Here. Ms. Oliver? Here. Mr. Ashburn? Here. Mr. Stewart? Mr. Batty? Here. We'll move the adoption of the agenda. You can see we have three things. Uh, first is consider ordinance 620, amended in our zoning ordinance. That's all our changes. Number two is consider ordinance 621, which is the Cooper property, changed from AR to R2. Number three is consider appointment to the Goose Pond Board. The rest we added tonight. Number four is the four way stop at Andrews and Laurel. Number five is consider the tanker for the solid waste department, $36,000. Number six is consider the track hole for the solid waste department, not to exceed $86,500. Number seven, consider the movement of the parking sign, no parking signs on College Avenue. Number eight, consider the purchase of the City Park movies. Number nine, to consider proceeding forward with the rezoning that came from the Planning Commission with the Lambert property. Number 10, to consider the renovations at Carver Park. Number 11, to consider replacing the Vincent King Caldwell Park. Number 12, to be a recommendation from the mayor to hire for the director of the rec department. Number 13, is to consider the acceptance of a DECA EDA grant for the sewer extension and traffic traffic signal for the Scottsboro Shops. That's the shopping center that will host those. With that being said, do I have a motion to adopt the agenda? Make a motion. Do I have a second? I second. Any discussion on that? If not, we'll vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Agendas adopted. Next is approval of the previous minutes. Everyone had a chance to look at the minutes. Do I have a motion to approve those minutes? I'll make that one. Do I have a second? I second. Any discussion on those? If not, we'll vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carries. No old business. We'll move straight into new business. The first one is considered Ordinance 620. These were the zoning ordinance changes that Mr. Little went over. And we agree the public hearings were done previously. So we'll, we'll have a motion to approve these changes. I'll make that motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. Any discussion on that? Not the vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carries. Number two, consider ordinance 621. Amend, amend the zoning ordinance, that's the Cooper property from AR to R2. Do I have a motion to approve this? I'll make that motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. Any discussion? Not hearing any, we'll vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Number three, consider an appointment to the Goose Pond Board. Ms. Phillips. We only had one applicant for that position. Uh, Chris Hancock has asked to be reappointed. Hearing that, there's just one applicant. Reappointment to the same board of Chris Hancock. Do I have a motion to appoint him to this board? I make a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? Here and I'm going to vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carries. Number four. The four way stop at Andrews and Laurel. Consider making that a four way stop now. Do I have a motion for that? I'll make that motion. Do I have a second? I second. Any discussion on it? Not hearing any, we'll vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Number 
Number five, instead of the purchase of a tanker truck for the solid waste department not to exceed $36,000, and this would have to be a state bid or be bid out though. Do I have a motion for this? I make that motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. Any discussion? Not hearing any, we'll vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Consider the trico for the solid waste department not to exceed $86,500. And then also, with the amount, would have to be a state bid or bid out. Do I have a motion to approve this? I make that motion. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion on it? <coughs> Not will vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Number seven, consideration of moving, I guess, the no parking signs on College Avenue to just include the corner and removing the rest. Do I have a motion to approve this? I'll make that motion. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? Now here any will vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? Motion carries. Number eight. Consider the purchase of the buoys for the city park area, city park swimming dock. Do I have a motion to approve this? I'll make that motion. Do I have a second? I second. Any discussion? Any discussion? This would be up to three thousand dollars. Any other discussion? Is they gonna include the no weight two or that weren't included in the three thousand? Uh, that would be two hundred sixty dollars additional each. So, so we put a big in there, yeah. Because the other ones was 2100 so that gave us some room to buy a couple of no-weight buoys. Okay. Then we'll change that question right now then. This will be to consider to buy the city park buoys and the no-weight buoys. Okay. Up to $3,000. Do I have a motion to approve that? I motion. Do I have a second? I second. Any discussion on that? We'll vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Number nine, to consider proceeding forward with rezoning that came from the Planning Commission to rezone the Lambert property on John T. Reed. Do I have a motion to proceed forward with that? I make that motion. Do I have a second? I second. Any discussion on that? Hearing none, we'll vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. From 10, instead of the renovations at Carver Park, not to exceed $7,200. Do I have a motion to approve that? I'll make that motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. Any discussion on that? Hearing none, we'll vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> Number 11, consider the replacement of fencing at King Caldwell Park. And then this would be not to exceed $7,545.23. Do I have a motion to approve that? I make that motion. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion on that? I guess in discussion with that amount, we say we're going with the cedar bin. Mm -hmm. If that was yes. the price on it. <laughs> Any other suggestion? Uh, how long? What was in there before? Was that cedar too? It was. Yeah. How long did that last us? <clears throat> I couldn't tell you that. It was there long as I can remember. Yeah. Probably the 80s. Okay. All right. Any other discussion? Hearing none will vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Number 12. This will be a recommendation from the mayor to hire a department head for the rec department. 
Mayor? Um, after several months and a lot of interviews, I would like to recommend that Mr. Donald Wood be hired as director of the RECOM. You have a recommendation from the mayor? Do I have a motion? I'll make that motion. A motion on the floor. Do I have a second? I'll second. Okay. Any discussion on that? Hearing none, we'll vote. Uh, Ms. Phillips, you do a roll call vote. Mr. Dahl? Yes. Ms. Oliver? Yes. Mr. Ashford? Yes. Mr. Bailey? No. Hearing that, it passes. Congratulations, Mr. Wood. Number 13, consider the motion, or sorry, consider the recommendation to proceed forward with a NECA EDA grant for the sewer extension traffic and traffic signal for the Scottsboro Shops Shopping Center. That would be the new public shopping center. This is a grant that was awarded to pay for part of this. Do I have a motion to proceed forward with it? I make that motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. Any discussion on that? Any discussion, Mayor? Will you just can you go over the grant amount? Sure. Um, the grant was one that we applied for. It's for a total. It's an ADA grant for five hundred thousand dollars that will uh, help with the sewer extension and the traffic signal at Scottsboro Shops. Um, we have to go through a process to be awarded the grant been approved. We have to go through a process for it to be awarded, which includes the public hearing. And uh, that's what this will do. And we're getting ready to go to public hearings, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> We've done a lot like that. But this is a, a great grant. It's going to save the city a lot of money. So, um, Just a little other detail. One of the things that's tied to that is uh, low and mod income. That's one of the 51% of the employee that has to be low and mod income. Yeah. And that's how we're how we proceeding. Any other discussion on that? If not, we'll vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? Motion carries. We'll conclude our meeting. We're moving to delegations and we have none tonight. So, reports, Mayor? Uh, a couple of things. One, um, Chief Nicholas uh, has two new firefighters that graduated Friday. Uh, from fire recruit training, Landon Gillum and Brett Roden, and I met both of them. We're pleased to have them. I think they're going to be two good ones. Um, a brief paving update. Uh, they started, uh, they did the patching on the suit on guard call. Uh, actually, at uh, college today, they moved over doing some, uh, some patching on, on College Avenue and had done pa uh, patching on. Uh, Garland Ferry last week, so they're moving with that. Um, I'd like to say thank you to Pam Bradford. She's done a tremendous job filling in for the last several months on uh, a difficult situation, so thank you, Pam. I thank appreciate you. what you've done. Uh, the other thing relative to Scottsboro Shops, I was informed Thursday that the lease has been signed with Publix with plot development, so that is moving as planned, and they also have an uh, agreement signed or contract signed for the excavation, so it's moving. Do we have a shovel date yet? Don't have a shovel date, but we're getting close. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Mr. Ashford. I'd like to thank Mr. Label. Uh, we received another ADM grant for around $173,000 on his equipment up there, that's pretty, that's pretty good. A little chunk of change. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Tolliver. I don't have anything to know. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Dahl? Uh, I'd like to mention uh, something about the employee city lot. Uh, actually, it's a question for Mr. Tanner. <laughs> they, seem to, they seem to be having some, uh, I don't know if it's money problems or not. Property is under the city's name, but the city employees. I'll be happy to go over it with you in detail. Uh, to go over it, uh, and 
come, a meeting would take 25 to 35 minutes. <laughs> I'm happy to do that. What? But I guess my question is, is, is it possible for the city to assist? Because um, there's some uh, things there that are in disrepair. At the current time, uh, my knowledge on the situation would be no. Uh, but I'll be happy to look into it. Anything else? Thank you. I failed to mention that our last SWDA meeting, our next SWDA meeting will be June 28th at 4 o'clock. So I want to make sure, make that clear. Uh, there'll be no meeting next Monday night. There'll be a work session on the 21st and then a meeting again on the 28th. With that said, I have a motion to adjourn tonight. I make that motion. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? We're adjourned.